Uh, Charlie, Charlie Ortman. I am Reverend Charles Ortman, and I uh, yeah, uh, and I uh, am here representing the Rhode Island uh, Religious Coalition for Reproductive Freedom, and I'm a commissioner on the Rhode Island State Council of Churches, and I want to thank you, Madam Chair, and, and you senators all for your indefatigable service to the people of Rhode Island. Um, I guess I, I want to mention the, the organizations that I represent because they are religious organizations. And I, I would just like to point out that there is not one or even two or even 10 religious perspectives on these questions. There are many and they are deeply rooted in religious values, all of them. So having said that, I want to share with you that, that back in 1970, a person who subsequently became very important in my life uh, had an abortion. And she had to have that abortion in a back alley in Chicago because of the laws that were there at that time. And you're not here to decide whether or not abortion is a legality. You're here to decide whether or not everyone should have access to that. And I, I would just uh, want to say to you that um, the, the Senate is ready to vote on this. And you hold the door. And the door that's being held is either into safe medical practice or again into back alleys where women are at great risk. And I would just ask you to please not put them at risk. Please make this accessible to all. And I just wanna very quickly address the issue of paying for something that you don't believe in. In 1969, I was granted the status of a conscientious objector. Since 1969 to this day, I have paid all of my taxes in the states that I've lived in and, and to the federal government, which has supported our military efforts in all those places. We all, I suspect, pay for things that we don't believe in because they are there for the people. Thank you. <laughs>